Fantastic that you're here because we have just graphed this beautiful quadratic, uh, quadratic function, uh, this parabola, uh, symmetrical curve. But now we're going to answer some questions about the curve or using the curve, if you like. Yeah, and these are the types of questions you can expect on a math exam as well, where they say, well, using your graph, and this is your graph, solve x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. The second question is, uh, using your graph, solve x squared minus x plus 3 equals 2. And the last one, the most difficult one, but we can only do this one if we understand those two, is by using your graph, solve x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals 0. Okay. Well, let's start with the first one. x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. Yeah, and as you can see, that is the graph itself. <coughs> Excuse me. And where it says here y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3, or uh, you'll get well, your example fx equals x squared minus 4x plus 3. Yeah. Now the question says it equals 0. It doesn't equal y or it doesn't equal fx, but it equals 0. So the question basically, the first one is where, uh, by looking at my graph, is the y coordinate 0? So where's my y coordinate zero? Well, that is here, and that is over there. So my solution is, well, at x is one, and at x is three. My y is zero. And if you understand that, then the next question becomes relatively easy as well. Now they say, it doesn't say zero, it says two. x squared minus x plus three equals two. This is the equation of my graph, yeah, it's the function of my graph. When does it equal two? When is y two? Y equals two. Y equals two, if you have seen my videos about linear functions, then you will know, or perhaps coordinate geometry, those videos, then you will know that y equals two is the horizontal line where y is two. So where is my graph two? Where for my graph is y2, well that is, sorry, that is here, and that is there. So again, I have two solutions. And then, uh, you have to do this with a sharp pencil, eh, because this is not very accurate with uh, um, a marker, because it's so thick. You have to use a sharp pencil to do this properly. But where is my graph 2? So then I would read here, and you have to do that super precisely, but I can't uh, do that properly, but I'm gonna guess now, that is at 0 0.4, so you can't guess it. Again, you have to be accurate, sorry, I just want to make uh, sure you understand that. And the other one, x is 3 points, I would say 8, if I have a quick look, yeah? But with sharp pencil, and you look at the skill, and you count the squares, you should be able to exactly tell you for which x, y is 2. All right, now moving on to the last question here x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals 0. And I have to use my graph, and I'm going to write that question here, x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals 0. And I have to use my graph to solve this equation. Now that is a little bit funny, because if I have to use my graph, my graph is x squared minus 4x plus 3, but here it says plus 2. So I have to manipulate it slightly. If they tell me, use your graph, then I should see my graph, x squared minus 4x plus 3. That is my graph, yeah? But it says plus 2, so I'm gonna say minus 1 equals 0. Again, what did I do? I wrote down the equation of my graph, but because it says 2 there, I'm gonna say 3. Okay, then I have to take away 1, because that's how I can have a hair. Excuse me, that's how I'm gonna get two, three minus one. All right, and then I move, or actually you're not moving anything, yeah? but that minus one goes now to the other side of the equal sign, yeah? So actually it's going to say then, now put that here, x squared minus four x plus three equals one. Do we see that? So now I see my graph, and the question actually is not um, when is this equation zero? Well, it is what the question says, but that is the same as looking at your graph, when is it one? Okay, and then I can draw the horizontal line again, where y is one. Over here, 
this is where y is 1, so I manipulated the question so I can answer it. And then I would go down here with a ruler, and I would go down there with a ruler, and I would say, and I look accurately at 0 0.6 and at 3.4. Uh, I am estimating now, again, you have to do that accurately. So, if they tell me for that last question, use your graph to solve this, well, the first thing I do is to actually write down my graph, yeah, the equation of my graph. They're asking me for plus two, my graph says plus three there at the end, so I'm gonna take away one, because three minus one is two. Yeah? Then whatever I changed about it, I am going to put that on the other side of the equal sign. So I get a similar question, actually, as the two questions I uh, solved before, yeah? So when is the graph, where is the y coordinate one? Okay, hopefully that was useful. I have another video, my last video, about drawing tangent and calculating an estimate of the gradient. Okay, so I hope uh, to see you at the next video. Otherwise, check out my site, explainingmaths.com, for loads of free resources uh, which you can use yeah, just to help you to understand maths a little bit better. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.